Hello. It's great to see all of you here. We are just uh, thrilled to have you with us. Uh, we have been waiting for this day for quite a long time, and it's finally here. Uh, our first ever innovation conference. On behalf of the board and staff of Silicon Valley Community Foundation, welcome. Thank you. Uh, this is truly an international gathering. Many of you have traveled from such distant places as Hong Kong, Singapore, the US Virgin Islands, Canada, Belgium, Australia, Puerto Rico, Sweden, and even Romania. Unfortunately, several of our colleagues will be unable to be with us due to a major hurricane affecting the southeastern United States. Our thoughts and prayers are with them and their families that they remain safe. In addition to this conference's international dimension, what sets it apart is that we represent different segments of philanthropy, including individual philanthropists, private foundations, family foundations, corporations, and nonprofit leaders. We will all benefit from the diversity and perspectives that will be brought to bear throughout the conference. What also distinguishes this conference is that rather than philanthropists and grant makers talking to ourselves, we will be engaged in conversation with people who are experts in the technology area. From the time that we announced this conference, I have been repeatedly asked two questions. Why is this conference necessary? And why did SVCF decide to convene it? Globalization and technology have made our world more interconnected than ever before, and this trend will only exponentially increase in the future. Unfortunately, from our perspective, the nonprofit sector is far behind in adopting proven, readily available technology to advance the issues and causes that we all care about. The nonprofit sector is also failing to ask important questions about whether technology is being used to include or exclude marginalized people within our different countries. When I use the word technology, I'm referring to both hardware, physical devices, as well as software, coding, and mobile applications. The premise of this conference is that until those of us who provide the funding to nonprofit organizations are more comfortable funding technology-oriented projects, the nonprofit sector will not be able to move forward in bringing the benefits of technology to marginalized communities or in bringing attention to technology's shortcomings. I offer this critique from the perspective of looking in the mirror at my own foundation and local nonprofit community. Even though Silicon Valley Community Foundation is based in the epicenter of the world's tech revolution, our foundation has not done nearly enough to support the adoption of technology by nonprofit organizations, nor have our local nonprofit organizations sought to be at the cutting edge of adopting this new technology. While our community foundation has supported some technology efforts in the past, such as a mobile app with Voter Latino to encourage voter registration by Latinos, and a platform called Citizenship Works that enables undocumented immigrants to determine if they are eligible for US citizenship. We have not done nearly what we can do, what we should do, or what we will do. As part of our effort to challenge ourselves in this area, I am pleased to announce the launch of our newest effort, a partnership with Becker College to help children grasp the complexity of income inequality and to help them develop empathy for the difficulties faced by those who live with less. There are few places in the United States where income and wealth inequality is more pronounced than here in Silicon Valley. 
Through Becker College's Mass Digi Digital Game Institute, we are today releasing a mobile game called Lotto Boxes to teach children about income inequality. Gaming is becoming an indispensable tool in helping kids and adults learn in creative ways. Please roll the video. Thank you. Lotto Boxes is available for a free download on the Google Play and Apple sites, and we invite you to help us think about how we can scale this to schools across the country and adapt it for use around the world. Recognizing that the nonprofit sector in Silicon Valley is far from being at the forefront of adopting and utilizing available technology to solve problems, led us to believe that this is likely an even greater issue across the U.S. and around the world. It also led us to believe that we were well suited and well placed to help start this discussion. As many of you know, Silicon Valley Community Foundation is a somewhat unique community foundation in that our donors are concerned with solving challenging problems in our local community, across the United States, and around the world. Last year, we distributed $821 million to 70 countries. Because of this, and because of our location in Silicon Valley, we believed we were uniquely positioned to host this gathering. I want to thank all of you for undertaking this learning journey with us as we explore how to use technology to advance the issue of education, jobs, health, and big data. The speakers that we have assembled are best in class and have an incredible amount of knowledge in these areas. In addition to the formal program, if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to visit the Innovation Lab Chestnut's door, where you will see how a 3D printer can make a prosthetic arm at a fraction of the cost, an Oculus virtual reality viewer that can bring the world to life, a demonstration of lotto boxes, and much, much more. This conference could not have happened without the hard work and significant support of three groups of people. First, I want to thank the advisory committee that helped us to plan this conference and identify the wonderful speakers. Their assistance was invaluable. I would ask the advisory committee members to please stand and be recognized. Second, to put on a conference like this requires significant underscored significant financial support. I want to sincerely thank all of the various sponsors for believing in this conference and for their general, generous support. I would ask that sponsors at all levels please stand and be recognized as we go through the several slides of the sponsors. So please, any sponsors here, please stand. Don't be shy. Thank you so much. We could not have done this without all, without all of you. Finally, I want to uh, thank Silicon Valley Community Foundation's staff. Uh, this was an all-hands-on-deck effort in addition to the work that we normally do every day. And uh, we, we were just thrilled to do it, but a lot of additional work. And so please join me in thanking the staff who have worked the registrations, the logistics, the travel, the presenters. Please join me in thanking Silicon Valley Community Foundation staff. 
I want to close with two very quick housekeeping details. First, we are asking all of you to treat this as a no solicitation zone. We encourage this change of business cards and ideas, but we hope to create an environment where we can all learn together without it becoming an explicit donor grantee meeting. Second, we know that we are weeks away from a very close and contentious presidential election. Consistent with our nonprofit and nonpartisan status, we have asked our presenters to refrain from partisan political commentary, and we would ask that you help them honor this request by not asking them any partisan-related questions. I know you will help us in this regard. Again, welcome. We're thrilled to have you here. Let's get started. I would invite Erica Wood back up to the podium. Thank you so very much.